Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I just wanted to show everyone really quickly and in somewhat better detail than my last video how to make a mod pack. So the first thing you want to do in Modrith and the app, if you don't know where I'll leave a link in the description below, is you go to this left and there will be a create profile, it's a plus sign. Now you're going to go from custom and you're just going to do whatever name you want, uh, fabric forge, I usually use forge and you're going to select a version. So I'm going to do the newest one here. Then you're just going to press create. That's all you're going to do. It's going to make it for you. And all you have to do is click it. Now from here, you're going to want to go to options. You can do your categories, your icons, if you're uploading it onto Mother so that other people can play. Um, <clears throat> one of the most noticeable things you'll see is this right here. Okay. Your goal pool is going to be around four. But depending on how many mods you add to your mod pack, you're going to want to keep increasing this. But don't overdo it because it will pretty much mess it up if it's too much memory. In, in rare cases, it doesn't happen too often, but it's a thing. And at any case, if you want to duplicate it, uh, that's a button here. If something's happening where there's a corruption, there's a repair, and the delete button's also right here as well. <clears throat> I think I accidentally created one. So one of the first things you want to do when you're making a mod pack is you want to click add content, and you're going to go right here. So Usually one of the things I will get most is things like essential um, entity calling. Let's see here. We could do Apple skin. Not enough animations. And any, any dependencies that you need for those mods is automatically going to be downloaded. So you don't have to download every single one separately. Okay, so we just added a few mods, and from there I'm gonna go back. Um, a lot of you probably don't have a, a side button, so you just go up here if you don't, and it will take you back. So you see we got a few mods here, <clears throat> and I'm gonna explain this quick as well. So when you click this, you're gonna open the folder to where your mods are for your mod pack. Now, that's just for when you click any one of these mods. So when you click this button, it goes from green to gray. That's to disable the mod. So the mod is still in your folder, but they add dot disable to it so it does not work when you run. This check mark here, if at any point a mod has an update, you can click there and it will do the latest update. And of course, here's the trash icon so you can get rid of it. <clears throat> if you want a specific version, all you have to do is click on the mod and go to versions and you can get whichever one you want. It's the same if you go up here and add content and click on it and go to versions instead of clicking on this quick install button. Now from there, you're just going to click play. And I do this maybe every five to ten mods. I will test it because I do put a lot of mods and combine them. That's in the beginning. After that, about every one, two, maybe three mods if they have this pendencies and stuff. You want to press enter to enable the narrator. Turning it on. One of the first things I'll do is actually turn the sound off, the music at least. <clears throat> Make sure you test it constantly when you add or even update mods. Because at any point, one update, one add-on, even the smallest one will mess up the mod pack. It's just how mods work. You have to be careful with it. And so from there, you don't really need to do too much. It's just like regular mod in Minecraft. You can usually go into a world and you can test it. Now, if you're wanting to edit the configs, you're going to press this open folder here beside the play button, and there's configs right here. And of course, you could just type in any of these. Um, I use this app right here, um, Visual Studio Code, and you'll see from here, um, Windows Heights, what, you know, whatever the mod has options for. Now, at any point, if you wanna do uh, world configs, you'll go to saves, you'll click the world, and there will be a config folder in there as well. It might be called server config. And that's just a few more configs for your things, of course. So if you want to add, well, I'll do that in another video. But <clears throat> now I'm just going to show you quickly how to export this mod pack. So you're going to click up here, export, version number, name, description if you want to. If you click this plus button, you know, you can say what you all want. If I want to add the options I have, I can add it. You know, if, if I don't want a mod, then I can just click down 
and that just remove whatever I want and I'll press export. I'll pick a folder, I'll just put it on my desktop and it's gonna quickly export, it's already done. So if I go to desktop, it's gonna be called custom 1.0.0 like I said it was. So from there, I'm gonna delete these so I can show you properly. If I choose to um, give that to friends, you know, if I don't want to like publish this as something, you know, for everybody, if I just want to um, have it between a few people. So you can go to the create instance and instead of creating a brand new mod pack, go to from file. You're going to import from file and you're just going to click it and you're going to press open. And from there, it's going to download everything, all the mods. If you clicked options, it's going to add the options. A config so you know you gotta be careful what you add because um, you can change key binding and stuff that way and <clears throat> it's the same way with updating you know you just gotta you just gotta redo it all <clears throat> excuse me um, so you, you really have to be careful for, for that kind of stuff constantly updating will aggravate people including your friends because the key bindings will get messed up but other than that there's really not too much to it if you have like any questions or if you need more details on something specific, feel free to leave a comment and I'll make a whole new video of, you know, whatever you need to know. Because I've been doing this a couple years now, so I do know a couple things. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day.